Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a starry sky using Affinity Designer. And now, first I'm going to go into the Colors tab, and in this hamburger menu, I'm going to click on Boxes. I like working in this mode better, because then I can click on this menu, and I can go to Lightness. And we're going to be changing the lightness of the sky later on. So let's go back to Hue for right now. And this is what we're going to be using as a reference. This image, I like how it starts dark on the top and then gets lighter down below. So we're going to be imitating something similar to that. Now I'm going to enable snapping. You don't have to, but I like to do that. So first I'm going to go over to my rectangle tool. And with snapping enabled, I'm going to go right to the edge, click and drag, so it snaps on the other edge. And now with the fill selected, I'm going to click and drag so it goes, so I have the blue selected. Now just click, drag here, get a blue that I'm happy with. Now with the fill tool, which is like the gradient, you see that the type is solid right now. I'm going to go down to linear and you see there is a linear grid right going horizontally but I want it to go vertically instead so I'm going to click right here and I'm going to hold shift to constrain the line so it snaps right here now I have something similar to that image but you see that there is more lightness uh, throughout the entire um, shape and I don't want that so I'm gonna click on this last node and then go down here to lightness and I'm gonna make it a little darker and I'm gonna click on this last node and make this a little darker and it's starting to come together but I want just a little lightness right here and I want it to fade in so I'm going to click around right here to create a new node. I'm going to just click and drag this down. But now it doesn't really fade over here, so I'll click on this node and then make this lighter. And now I think that looks about accurate. So now with this selected, I'm going to click the lock icon. Now I'll create a new layer. Now time to create the stars. I'm going to go over here by the triangular tool because there's an arrow down here. And I'm going to go to the star tool. And again I'm going to hold shift to constrain it. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. I'm going to make sure it's a very small size because too big will make it look unreal. And we don't want to have this in particular star shape because this looks too cartoonish. Well first let's change the color. I'm gonna change it to white. So I'll go to swatches and then change and then change the color to the lightest shade of white. Now I'll go back to the color just because I like being in that mode the best. Now since this is a smart shape we can and change these nodes over here but I'm gonna change this one and drag it down right here and I'll zoom out make sure it's the right size yeah I think that looks good okay now that we're happy with the shape we're gonna go down here to the effects icon let's add a blur to this Gaussian blur drag the radius so we have the star looking a little blurry. Now we will create an outer glow. Now since the star is already white, we'll have the outer glow be a different color. Otherwise, changing the um, applying the Gaussian blur would be pointless. So we'll change the outer glow to be blue. Now let's increase the radius to that and see how it's looking. 
And now we'll change the opacity of the outer glow, not the object itself. So it's looking just a little bluish and it looks good. I'm just playing around with these. Yeah, I think that looks good right there. So let's zoom out. And we have one star. Now we're not going to make them individually. So I'm going to click this, hold Alt, and then drag. And holding Alt while dragging will create a duplicate. Now in Affinity Designer you can create what's called power duplicates. So since I already clicked and dragged one, I can press Control J, Command J, I mean. Well, actually I unselected, so I have to click both of these again. Hold Alt, click and drag. Now press Command J. And see how it makes several duplicates right away? Now I'll select all of these, hold alt, drag. Now press command J, command J, and keep going. I mean that's one way to do it, but see how all these stars are right in the line? It doesn't look real because stars are usually scattered, so I'll undo all that. And stars are usually different sizes. So I'm going to undo this. I'm just showing you that that's what you can do. So Alt drag this, change the size of this, and hold Shift to constrain it. And hold Alt and drag this. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. I need to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And hold Alt, drag this one. And you just continue doing it this way. The stars are different sizes. So. Have this one be a little bigger. All right now, these look more scattered, so I'll select all of those. Hold Alt, drag. Now Command J. Click all of those. Click Alt, drag and Alt. Command J. And see, this is just a general overview on how you can make it. Now these stars, they may look a little cartoonish because the shape. Now I didn't convert the star to curve so you can still um, play with them more. You can change the points down up here if you want. Just showing what you can do. That, that might look a little more real giving it more than five points. So yeah, this is just showing what you can do. I hope this tutorial was helpful.